the world premiere of the Bat Bros swinging bamboo. I'm skeptical, honestly. I've never swung bamboo. Nobody I know has really ever swung bamboo. Oh, Come on! Yeah. Come on, ball! What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today we have the long-awaited review of bamboo, baby. Let's get it. All right, here we have the Pinnacle Sports BBB, <laughs> kind of an interesting name, but this is a bamboo bat, purely made of bamboo here. So you actually can't use this in professional baseball because it's not like one solid piece of wood, uh, but like in, in high school and college wood bat leagues, this is totally good to use. It's even BB core certified. Uh, so bamboo is just, it's a grass, right? So this basically is just kind of a mishmash of bamboo kind of pressed together into a bat here. And guys, I honestly think it's gonna impress us. We took a few swings in front toss. This thing is loud and it swings very well. So I'm very, excited to hit with this only $60 and it's going to be a pretty durable bat so what I know about bamboo so far you don't see a lot of them it's a really rare kind of untrusted uh, bat material to be using but it's loud it's pretty easy to swing and they're very inexpensive and very durable so a great potential option really excited to see how this goes if, if this bat performs well for us we're going to throw it into wood bat madness and see if it can make a decent run here so a uh, big thank you to justbats.com for getting this out to us the 60 dollar bamboo bat 30 day warranty uh, good durability on this guy let's see if it can hit some nukes for us let's go all right the world premiere of the bat bros swinging bamboo i'm skeptical honestly I've never swung bamboo. Nobody I know has really ever swung bamboo. Um, but you guys are recommending it. They're like, guys, this is a slept on, inexpensive bat. We will let you know. We, we're fresh off swinging some really good maple bats. So uh, we'll see if it stacks up here. Uh, the Pinnacle Sports BBB. Let's get it. And by the way, this is going to be pretty close to like a 110 turn model. So hopefully it's going to be pretty balanced, pretty light swinging. Really flexible too. Lots of bend in the handle there. Good loud sound though. Honestly, really impressive. Oh, go ball! Oh, oh ball. that was a rod. What? Oh, it freaking hurts towards the hands though, man. Uh, you're not gonna get much love down here. I mean, you can see the barrel profile. It's skinny, 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 and really doesn't fatten up to way out here, but. Decent. Decent. Oh, come on. That was peace. Let's go. Yes, hey. sir. Got one. All right, initial reaction. The sweet spot is not very impressive, but if you barrel it up for $60, this is very, very good. And it's going to be a lot more durable than most like $60 bats you're going to have access to, which is typically going to be like decent ash. Uh, this is probably going to last you a lot longer than Ash, I would assume. It feels like the uh, Solo or the Velo or something. Really light, tiny sweet spot, if you, but if you barrel it, it goes. Oh, yeah! Yordo with the bamboo! Ah, oh, top of the wall! Very top of the wall! Oh! Come on! Wall ball! Found that got it's rare to find that sweet spot, but I got it there. So what I will say, really interesting setup with a lot of really light swinging bats. The sweet spot's more towards the hands. This is interesting though. The sweet spot is way the hell out here. That, that, that's kind of funky for a light swinging bat. If we gave this bat to a panda, do you think it would eat it? Would it catch on? Oh yeah, I think it would. Freaking oh yeah, fun. Why not? Ooh. For all the pandas. <laughs> Roll the pandas! Initial thoughts on this bat. That uh, it sounds better than it feels. It sounds like you're hitting these balls 450. Yeah, I feel like I'm hitting these balls 105 off the bat and they're going 276 feet. It's, it's, so. it's a little soft, but dude, for 60 bucks. For 60 bucks, this is awesome. Oh, that's going. Yes, sir! If you get it there, it's got the juice. It's just kind of not very forgiving. Ooh. Pepper in that wall, bro. Oh, 
I want it. I want to be hard on it, but it's durable and very cheap. So like, I mean, you're getting what you're paying for. It's only $60, but there's definitely a lot better bats. If I were to compare it to another wood bat though, I would say this is kind of like a bad bomb bat. <laughs> it feels a lot like a bad bomb bat. Bad bomb bat. Uh, yeah, like a bomb bat with an even smaller sweet spot and just a not forgiving barrel. All right. Oh, Come on! Yeah. Come on, ball! Oh, one hop. This is birch or maple, I forget. Maple. Oh my god, it's not even close. Look at that. Yeah, it sounds even better too. All right, the bamboo bat from Pinnacle Sports. Uh, guys, plenty to complain about here, honestly. Like, it's not the best wood bat I've ever swung. I think maple's a lot better. But you are not going to find a durable wood bat at this kind of price point. This is $60. Uh, you could buy three of these for the price of like a Victus, honestly, and it doesn't suck. It can get the job done. Like we were saying, it's basically like a solo or a velo. Uh, it's very light swinging, easy to get to the ball. The barrel's going to get bullied a little bit though. Not a ton of juice uh, in the barrel and the sweet spots pretty small there and it's kind of towards the end of the bat which is a little bit funky but this isn't going to break nearly as often as like ash or maple or even birch wood uh it's pretty flexible and i got rung up bad hit a few off the end bad and i just know from experience from growing up bamboo is going to last you a pretty long time they even have a 30-day warranty in case it breaks on you early uh, but for 60 dollars, this was honestly impressive putting this up against a victus or even like a demerini wood composite or a bomb bat it, it's not going to stand a chance like it, it's going to lose those bats are better bats but you're paying again triple almost four times the price if you want to get one of those if you're looking for a wood bat to practice with uh maybe you just have a showcase maybe you just have a couple tournaments you want something that's going to get you all the way through it. you can even probably use it for a couple years this is an excellent option especially if you already like to swing a light swinging bb core bat if you're an older stronger hitter i would not get this get something with more end load that's going to have more power like a rawlings wood composite 243 for example that's a really good bat but for a cheaper option a light swinging bat this honestly impressed me like like if you get it right you can hit the ball out of the yard it's just not going to have near the juice of like a maple especially not near the barrel size the sweet spots on some of those like i13 and 243 maples game changer it's not even close but again especially if you already are swinging a bb core like this you want something cheap durable uh, this is the best super inexpensive durable bat i like the only other bats you're going to find at this price point are going to be like a louisville 5 series ash and those are great i would say like if you're just comparing performance that 5 series ash especially like the 243 is a better bat for sure it's just going to flake on you and it's, the handle's going to break eventually this is going to last way longer it's going to be a lot more trusty and it's going to be lighter swinging so again plenty to complain about but guys it's 60 dollars. you're getting what you pay for for 60 dollars, this is impressive all right, there it is. And you guys will see, once you start hitting with this bat a lot, the grains will kind of compress on you. That's not the bat breaking or anything. That's just a pretty natural progression uh, with like a defined grain type of wood. Like even like birch will look a lot like this eventually. Those grains just compress and it creates lines in the bat. And we'll give this guy a one last shot in wood bat madness. We'll make sure that thing squeaks in the tournament. But yeah, guys, at the end of the day, if you're looking for pure performance, you have some money to spend, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a durable option, something more like uh, the Demarini wood composite or the Rawlings wood composite or a bomb bat or especially if you got money to spend like a victus maple those things are fire man but guys thanks for hanging out today that's bamboo you'll see it again in in a wood bat madness if you want to check out bat bro merch and help support us you can find that on baseballbatbros.com we got some sweet hoodies and sweatshirts and shirts over there and if you guys want to keep up with us behind the scenes see everything going on we post bat bro scales and whatnot over on our social media that's going to be at baseball bat bros on facebook twitter instagram tiktok thanks for hanging y'all if you like the video subscribe drop a like we'll see See you next time.